we, uh, much like uh, uh, bottom gets a bad rap these days, <laughs> we takes away from me. <laughs> and anything that takes away from me sounds a little like socialism. <laughs> Even though none of us are really sure what that means. <laughs> there's a lot of old white men yelling at us, telling us that we don't want it, and when have a bunch of old white men ever been wrong? <laughs> no, pretty often, you're right. And, and the kind of juvenile, me first posturing that comes out of certain segments of our great nation, and I mean that, it is a great nation. It's a little on the big side, but it is great. <laughs> certain me first posturing kind of dooms themselves to very, very lonely lives, which isn't to say that you need to be married to be a we. We're all we here right now. That's kind of neat. <laughs> Even if you're me, we're all here. <laughs> right? <laughs> Somewhere around age seven, we psychologically, this is according to an uh, educational psychologist named Piaget, look him up. <laughs> we psychologically realize that other people have the same needs and feelings we do, and that's when things get uh, richer and more interesting in our lives, when we realize that we is actually a little bit better than me. We has a lot going for it. We can be stronger than me. We can carry furniture better than me. <laughs> we can split a dessert and not feel terrible the way I would do it if I just did it solo. <laughs> we can split up the driving. We can put a man on the moon. <laughs> we can figure out the tip at a restaurant. We can carry each other's burdens if one of us gets sick. We can maybe help them out with their hospital bills. We can help each other out in other ways, like say, I don't know, let's say my wife sold a feature spec and she's home working on that because she's on a deadline tonight. And thank God she sold something because my development season was a fucking watch. <laughs> and now that I think of it, I ditched my writing partner this past year, so I went from being a we to a me and I suffered dearly for it. <laughs> But either way, we are okay because she, who's part of my we, sold something. If we had to rely on just my income, shit, we'd be an Encino, Oxnard, <laughs> fuck Queens, I don't know. But either way, she has to get a draft in tomorrow, and that's why I'm here now. But we, Paula and I, put our heads together, and we selected Abby Shackner as my temp wife. And look how lovely she is. <laughs> We are competing against each other, but we are capable of a lot more than just me is. I'll tell you something that I never did. I never built the railroads, I didn't invent the internet, but we did. <laughs> wow, huh? Pretty impressive. I caught a cold this weekend and wrote this in bed while my wife took care of the kids. I sound like a terrible father, I realize that. But while my wife took care of the kids, I'm sitting in bed writing, but at the same time, we won a gold medal in snowboarding. <laughs> that sounds lazy and silly, I know that, but we's are really just a bunch of me's, and it's okay if we're sharing each other's burdens to share each other's accomplishments, too. Now, we is great. Here's what gets really touchy. They. <laughs> no, they are a problem. <laughs> They're mean to their children, they don't know how to dance. Wars are waged against theys pretty much 100% of the time. Even the American Civil War, which was held in a country that was ostensibly supposed to be just we, 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 it's got united right in the fucking name. But some of us got pissed off at how they were treating a whole other they, and next thing you know, bing, bang, boom, 750,000 soldiers dead, 50,000 civilians dead. And that's what happens when you start separating we's into theys and us's. You lose 10% of all northern males between 18 and 40, and 30, 30, I looked this up, 30% of all southern males between 18 and 40. By not focusing on the united and just focusing on the states, you drag the country into a four-year conflict. This was followed by 12 years of reconstruction, terrible, contentious chapter in our nation's history, led to the rise of the Ku Klux Klan, I mean, ever if we and they got spun wildly out of control, and a political divide that continues to this day. In closing, man, we need to encourage we. Being an adult part of the human family means looking out for each other, holding doors, giving to charity, asking people how they're doing, helping them move, going to see their one-man shows even though you'd rather eat glass. <laughs> the more we remember that there's a we that supersedes me's needs, that the greater good is both great and good, once we realize that, the happier we are, the more fulfilled we are, the safer we are. 
We are no longer lone wolves, crazy John Galti and Superman who dominate industry and our fellow man. I know this is making me sound like a crazy raging socialist, and that's not my intent, so let me put it into free market terms for you. If you remember the we, then we don't turn into Donald Trump's or the Koch brothers making ugly, phallic buildings or raping land for oil and buying influence. We're more like Ben and Jerry's. Creating jobs, making a universally liked and successful product, and paying their lowest paid workers almost double the federal minimum wage, and adjusting said wage each year depending on the cost of living in their home state of Vermont. Yeah. There's a way to be capitalists and still look out for we. There's a way to be so, to be successful and still be conscious of we. There's a way to be American, a proud citizen of the land of rugged individualism, and still remember that we is greater than me. I, I've thrown a lot of facts and figures and ephemera at you, and I apologize for that. You know where I got all those facts and figures? Wikipedia, yeah. You know who writes Wikipedia? 